I am the number one ballistic on PC with 33,000 kills. In this video, I'm going to do a tier list breakdown of my favorite to least favorite ballistic skins. Now, when I've rated each skin, I'm very quickly going to show you guys a recommendation for a banner design that you can run with said skin because that actually plays quite heavily into my rating because I love a good banner design. So I'll probably show you one without badges and trackers and then I'll show you my version with banners and trackers, kind of give you guys an idea of what you guys can do and what I do. So without further ado, let's just jump straight into the ratings. Now, as you can see, we have the S, A, B, C and the U note here. But the first skin that we are going to rate is the Bionic Brink skin. Now, here is the Bionic Brink skin in game. Now, Honestly, I think this skin would be a 10 out of 10 and probably one of Ballistic's best skins if it wasn't for the hair. I mean, what is this? It really doesn't fit his style or his aesthetic at all. The whole skin itself doesn't really, but it would pass as a really nice skin, a really nice futuristic cyborg Ballistic. The arm really matches very well with the rest of the skin and his sling unit at the back also works really nice with his electronic arm. It just works really well, but the hair just kind of ruins it all. If they would have kept Ballistic's original hair, I reckon this skin would have been one of his best. So because of that, we're going to put it in C tier now. It's definitely not Uno tier, but it is definitely C tier. Now here is typically the pose and the banner frame that I normally run with this skin. But badges and trackers like these all work really well with this banner design. Next is this skin, which is the Demon Hunter. I hope it's not Demon, otherwise I'll be very embarrassed. Which is probably one of my favorite epic skins of his. It's just his normal skin with a darker coat and then this really nice red pattern that goes down the skin. It's personally one of my favorite skins to run. If you're new to Ballistic or you don't really want to spend too much of your crafting or coins on Ballistic skins, maybe go with this one because it is really nice, it's very simple, and it doesn't cost as much as a Legendary, so I would actually highly recommend this skin. So because of that, it's definitely going above Bionic Brink and we're putting that in B tier. This is a skin frame combo I absolutely adore. You'll probably see me use it a couple more times in this video because it really works well for Ballistic. It also works really well with the weapon mastery badges so you could create something like this or if you guys have unlocked some of the weapon trackers you could do something like this which is really nice and clean i love it any pose pretty much works with this except for eye for detail because it cuts off at the top for some reason next is earl gray which is the other version of the skin that i normally wear now i absolutely love this skin um, i don't even really need to go into detail about why i love it i mean it just looks like john wick and doctor who in apex i love it so much his vibe his aesthetic the suit is just really clean i'll get into if i think it's better than mr man is in a little bit this skin hands down is going in s tier now, the banner design that we used before actually works really well with this skin as well. It also works really well with the new banner frame for Ballistic offering in the latest Apex event for the Loba Prestige skin. This is also one of my favourite designs to run with this banner frame. Also, this skin and banner frame combo works really nice. The banner frame is actually from Ballistic's release bundle, so if you don't have that, unfortunately, you will not have this banner. But this skin and that banner frame actually work really nice, and I do run this quite a lot. Here are examples of badges that I run with this as well. And here's another, which also looks very nice. Now, the next skin we have to rate is the Fiber Optic skin. Now, this is also a very nice skin. Fun fact, this is actually the primary skin that I ran before using any of Ballistic's Legendary skins, which is very nice. It's definitely not as good as the red version, so it's going to place lower on the tier list than that, but it is still very, very nice. So this is probably going to go in C tier. Now, it's definitely not as good as Bionic Brink, so it'll go below. Here is a really nice banner frame that you can use with this skin as well. It also pretty much works with the majority of Ballistic's non-moving poses as well. But my favourite with this is to use the eye for detail because I just think it's so nice. Along with this kind of banner design, Gone Fishing is also a really good choice. And I think it might actually be better because it's a lot brighter than the Halls of Heroes one. I would actually recommend Gone Fishing over Halls of Heroes just because it just works with the blue on the skin quite well. And it isn't just too dark, especially if you have your graphics up high or low. It just doesn't look quite as good as Gone Fishing. Back in Season 17, Gone Fishing was probably my main banner frame that I was using. The next skin is General Destruction, which is a skin that came in Ballistic's launch bundle. Now, I think a lot of Ballistic mains actually really like the skin, and honestly, it isn't bad. It is quite nice. It's got that nice kind of army aesthetic, that kind of, you know, very authoritative figure. It looks very swag, to be honest. But personally for me, I don't run it too often, but that doesn't mean I don't like it. So this skin is probably going to go in A tier. Here is quite a nice design. Obviously, you guys might not have the max prestige or the weapon mastery banner, but this is still an option for those who do. It does look quite nice. If you are in the last prestige at all, it does go very well with the skin. Seeing as it came in Ballistic, Ballistic's launch bundle. I would hope it works, and it does. It is very nice. Here are some different pose options.
Also, I think if you have the Warlord badge, it looks quite nice because it actually matches his skin quite a lot. Even though this badge isn't full ballistic, it actually works really nice with this banner setup. But anything kind of green or orange would work really, so if you're able to make a banner like this, orange and green badges work really well. Now the next skin that we're rating is the Hack the System, which is just another one of his epic skins. Now I think this is probably one of my least favourite of his skins, just because I don't like the way the texture kind of goes down. I mean, they kind of all just blend in. It looks really unfinished and unclean. I'm not really a big fan of this whatsoever. So unfortunately I'm going to be putting that in the Uno section. The banner frame before that we made actually does work quite well with this, just because it is green this can look quite nice this is one of the universal banner frames that goes for all legends this can work with the skin pretty nicely next is heat sink now this is definitely better than the hack the system skin i like the gold on the skin honestly i think it looks really nice the pattern isn't too much but it isn't too little it's just quite clean it also it's very futuristic like i could actually see this being one of ballistic's main suits that he would wear i do like the little touch that all the glasses kind of match with the color scheme of his skin so with that being said this is probably also going to go in B tier, but it's not going to go over the Demon Hunter, it's just below. Now this legendary banner frame look works quite well, so does the lounge as well. But the one that works the most if you guys have it is one of the Weapon Mastery banner frames. It looks really nice and the colour scheme is almost identical. This is probably the main setup that I run with this skin. It's a very weapon mastery based banner frame, but I really like it because for me, it shows my kills on ballistic as well as the other things that I'm doing outside of ballistic. So I think it's really nice and probably one of my favorites. But for those who don't have any of the weapon mastery banner frames, the armory and the lounge, like I mentioned before, work just as well. Now we come on to Mr. Manners, which as for those who don't know, is my main skin. This is the skin that I run above most of the other skins. And honestly, I, I don't have too much to say about it. It is just perfect. I loved his vibe. I love the color of the coat. The sort of blue and orange and gray and white is it's such a color scheme that I really like. And it's one of the things that immediately drew me to the skin because, and the fact that his hair matches his shirt color as well. It's just, it's so good. I love that the glass is also on Earl Grey as well. They're super dark and I really like that because on banner frames it looks really nice as well. I bet you guys can tell that this skin is going at the top of S tier. So the banner frames I'm about to show you are ones that I run very regularly. So I'm just going to kind of go through them very quickly. And they are some of the banner frames that I run with Mr. Manners. As you can tell, I've got plenty of experience making banner frames with this skin. His skin works with pretty much most of the banner frames, which is what I love. Moving on, we have the Neon Sunset skin. Now... I'm not a big fan of the style of ballistic skin as it is. Now, I don't, I by no means think this or the other one are bad skins. I do very much like them. I think they're made very, very well. I just prefer ballistic in the style of where he's wearing a suit or something, you know, rich and expensive rather than having this party aesthetic he's got going on in a minute. With that being said, though, it is going to go in A tier. It's going to go below general destruction, but it is definitely up there as one of his better skins. Now, this banner frame look works really well, which is one that I just used for Mr. Manners. It also works really well with the Stormpoint Sunset banner frame, which everybody loves. If you have these three Battle Pass batches, they work really well as well. And I've noticed this skin works really well with the Garage banner frame as well. And my favourite banner poses are... This is actually one that I ran for quite a while. The next skin that we have to rate is the original. Now, I'm going to be completely honest, the original has a special place in my heart because it's just so nice. And it's Ballistic's original, you can't hate it. So while it may not be as good as Mr. Man is an Ill Grey, it is going in S tier. It just has to. Here are some banner frames that I really like to run with it. Next, we have the latest ballistic skin, one which I'm sure all of you have enjoyed, the Sleek and Suave skin, which, I mean, it's just simply ballistic's best skin ever. I'm gonna be honest, it's better than Mr. Manners. I mean, it's so him, it's so rich, it's so elegant, it's so festive as well, I love it, and it's just so so good i mean look at his sling unit on his back i mean that is just incredible i love it so it'll be no surprise that that is going in s tier above mr manners
Now, as you can see, this skin mainly goes best with his banner frame that came in the event, but it does also work with the mastery banners, the armory, and the lounge. It also goes well with poison roots, but primarily goes best with this banner frame offering. So if you guys can, I would recommend getting this banner frame now before it goes away. Next, we have the Technomancer. This is a skin that also came out with Ballistic upon release, and I just, I can't lie, it's just not it. It just looks really messy, and I really do not like this skin. It can't even go well with many banner frames either, so I'm gonna be putting this in Ew No. It can kind of go well with the Gone Fishing banner and also the Hall of Heroes. It actually doesn't go too badly with those. Next is User Friendly. Now, it's not great. It's, I don't really like the colours, but this is obviously not an issue with Ballistic. This is more an issue with the epic template skins that they put on the characters. I'm not really too big of a fan. I do kind of like the strips on the skin. It looks quite nice, but the pattern itself, I'm not the biggest fan of. I think I'd actually prefer if it went down rather than up. With that being said, it's definitely going in C tier. Now, I think it goes pretty well with this Urban Glow banner frame, just because the yellows kind of match, and it does work quite nicely. You could even throw in one of your gun trackers as well, it looks quite nice. This is actually not too bad. I think maybe it looks better without any of the custom trackers, and you just use your kills and things like that, it looks pretty nice. If you're in the last prestige, it also goes pretty nicely with that. Even this badge as well, it does look pretty nice. The second to final skin is Vice Grip. Now, this skin, I have the same opinion of it as the Neon Sunset one. However, Vice Grip, I think, is a way better version. I like the colour scheme. I like the bright blue. I like the purple. I like the pink. And I like the sun... I do like the sunglasses. It is very, very nice. So, while I may prefer the other aesthetic for Ballistic, this is still a very, very nice skin. And I see a lot of Ballistic mains run it, and for good reason. This skin easily takes the first slot in A tier. And this is probably the best banner frame and skin combo out there at the minute. The colours really complement each other. If you really want to go for a summer vibe, which obviously isn't some of the time that I'm recording this video, but if you did, Surf's Up also works really nicely. I'm not going to lie, a lot of the universal banner frames are really carrying this video because they're just so good. If you have your Season 17 trackers as well, they go really nicely. If you kind of put one at the top, one at the bottom, and then your kills in the middle, this is very nice. And I think it just goes even better with Gone Fishing. I think that is ultimately the best banner frame for this setup but this is probably one of my favorites of the whole video i think it looks perfect now the final skin is obelisk now this skin is just so nice i think honestly it could be a legendary for all i care i mean the color scheme and just his hair i love it so much and the pattern on the coat is just it's so good. I'd love it. It really fit the time that it came out, which was Halloween. But even after then, it's just so incredibly clean. I think I'm going to put it in A tier. Just because I don't run it nearly enough as I do any of the S tiers. But it is definitely up there. You know what? We're even we're going to put it the highest A tier. And that might be controversial, but I love this skin. Especially the gloves. If you get a chance to see the gloves when you're healing, the gold on the end of the fingers is so nice. Now, just going straight to look at this banner frame. I mean, eat this one, which is left over from the one that I just did before, looks incredibly nice. Now, the one that I'm about to show you is actually one that I saw someone else running in game, and I thought, ooh, that's a good idea. Now, to start off, this is one of the nice ones. I haven't got any badges or kills in it just yet, but this alone is really nice. I don't know why, but the, the green of the banner frame and the blue on his skin just really complement each other. It also does on this, I think this banner pose is probably my favourite to run with the skin, to be honest. That and down to business. And that is my rating of all the ballistic skins accompanied with some banner recommendations i hope you liked some of the banner frames i hope it gave you some ideas sorry if they weren't the greatest i tried to balance it between what i have and also remembering what other people had as well so i hope i was able to achieve that i'm sorry if i didn't but let's take one final look at the tier list before we end off this video honestly i don't think this is too controversial i think people will probably agree with me on most of these maybe some of my choices for the epic skins might take people aback but again this is my opinion you guys are feel free to have yours if you want to show me what your opinions are go in the description and find the tier list that i made and tweet a picture at me on twitter and i will and i'll let you know what i think as well i hope you found this video interesting i hope you guys liked hearing what my opinion on these ballistic skins were if you guys are looking to see what skins you should be getting hopefully this gave you a better idea of what skins you should buy but yeah thank you everyone for watching and i shall see you in the next one peace out